Okay, here we are. We're going to take a look at these value trains 20 foot containers. As you can see, they're already loaded in my well car here. Now, uh, this particular car that they're sitting in is about 20 years old, so it's not a new car by any stretch of the imagination, but still, you can see they fit pretty nicely. And Looking at the paint and the graphics, uh, paint and the graphics look really good. Uh, these are the company name uh, containers, and uh, all the details on these things are molded. Uh, the corrugated sides, roof, front, rear, along with the uh, anti theft latches and bars there as that you see on most trailers and uh, these are based on 20 foot uh, shipping containers and how they ride on a train they basically sit just like that and these are these will be bottom only loads and then you would have your standard 40 foot or more or longer containers sitting right on top I can get in there just like that this is a this would be a Walther's container but still you know they sit on there just like that and uh, they work with most of the brands of unfortunately I don't have a scale trains container so I don't know if they work with them or not but uh, we have the Walther's container and we'll set an Atherin container on top of them here and that fits uh, that fits really nicely right there but you know these, these are uh, you know they work well with all the other brands and these uh, containers here they run about $13 a pair so uh, you know they're a little cheaper than the standard Walders and Atherin containers, but still very, very nice containers. And uh, of course, if you're not familiar with the value train stuff, they make everything in the USA. Um, and they have uh, the, the names available on these containers are, they have the company name, I believe they have a a white container with the USA on it and they have another one with a shipping name on it which escapes me at the present time and then they have the painted and unlettered versions which means you can uh, buy them all painted up uh, they have this color orange uh, dark blue white and gray I believe uh, and then you can just add your own decals, whatever you want to put on them. Uh, but still, you know, very nice, very nice containers, make nice loads. They fit in most of the manufacturer's cars. Like I said, this one being a Walters car, uh, but they'll work with Atherin, Atlas, um, you know, uh, I assume scale trains, uh, they're coming out with their own version of a, of a well car so but uh yeah they'll make uh they'll uh they'll work with uh, just about anything they make really nice loads i gotta tell you i, I like it in this car the uh red the, whoops i accidentally bumped it there but uh the red red car with the orange containers uh makes a nice load but anyway this is just a little quick review of them and uh you know they don't have any separately applied details on them. Everything's molded. But, uh, yeah, I mean, make nice loads. So, uh, this will be part one of a two-part. Uh, part two, we'll look at the the painted and unlettered boxcars that Value Trains has, because I have two of those. And uh, we might do something fun with those cars at some point, so... 
Uh, you might want to stick around and see these cars and what we might try to do with them. Um, it's going to be kind of a slow process, but uh, we might try something interesting with these box cars. So uh, stay tuned for that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little review. Um, you know, and uh, we'll see on the next one. We'll go in more in depth with the box cars. But I just wanted to show you these little containers. They're really nice. Look really good. And, uh, you know, if you've seen the videos of the West Plains Mall Railroad Club's layout, uh, you've seen cars similar and containers similar to these running around. Uh, but, uh, yeah, like I said, hope you enjoy it. And uh, be sure to stay tuned for part two of this when we take a look at the boxcars. So see you then.